Hey friends, today we're hanging out at Epcot. My friend Lily Aldridge is getting her drink added to the menu at La Cava. This was a drink that was during the Festival of the Arts, so she's gonna be there today making it, and I wanted to come out and be one of the first people to try it, and then we're gonna hang out at Epcot, ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. But I do warn you, there is a storm brewing, so there might be some rain. Anywho's, let's go do this. Look at how empty the park is right now. I don't think I've ever seen it this empty at 10 a.m. But like I said in the beginning, there's a little bit of a storm coming in, so we could be getting a lot of rain any second now. The rain has been intense here in Florida the past couple days. I'm sure some of you guys saw my Hollywood Studios uh, video where they, they basically just flooded and then Magic Kingdom flooded the following day. And now I just found out that there's a tornado warning <laughs> at Epcot. There's a tornado warning for today. So, I mean, we're here. <laughs> Might as well proceed with our plans and uh, seek shelter in La Cava. I feel like that's the best place. <laughs> It says the tornado warning is effective until 11 a.m., so an hour to go, and it's not like overly like storming out, just a little bit of rain, but look at the way those clouds are moving in the sky. It's like they're almost racing, so we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next hour. I'm gonna head straight back to the Mexico Pavilion because that's where we're gonna be meeting up with some of our friends. And I wanted to point out the Epcot experience is closing down for good, so I think we're gonna cut through there. If you have not been able to come out and check out the Epcot experience, it is shutting down for good March 14th. So just a couple days away. And this is really cool. I actually was really excited when I came here. Even though it does have a couple of projects that are no longer in the future here at Epcot. But it's still a really amazing thing to actually come and watch. Look at this. It's the metaverse. I am so excited to be here early in the morning to go to La Cava. I feel like it's such like a like an honor, especially because it doesn't officially open till 11 a.m. But we're gonna be able to go in at 10 a.m. and I'm so happy for Lily. Like she's getting her own drink on the menu here at Epcot. Like that is such an honor. You know what I mean? I, I feel like if it happened to me, I would brag about it. And she made this drink. Like she came up with all the ingredients. It's named after her. It's her special little baby. So we're definitely gonna want to show it some love. We have officially made it into the Mexico Pavilion and look, it's so like empty in here. Like I said, I'm really loving the start of the day and if we get stuck in here during the storm, what better, like this is the best place to be stuck, you know what I mean? As I'm sitting here waiting to go in La Cava, it doesn't officially open till 11 a.m., but people keep on coming up and asking, like, what time does it open? And I tell them 11 a.m., so they think I'm just sitting here waiting for an hour to get a breakfast margarita, and I think it's kind of hysterical. But here we are, just a couple more minutes, and the doors will be opening up shortly. I don't think I've ever seen the doors shut here, so that's kind of a, a, kind of a pleasant little surprise there. And here it is, the Lily. This was actually for Festival of the Arts and I ranked it my number one drink of the festival and I'm so happy to be back to uh, actually have it for the first day, it being on the menu here at La Cava and Lily's gonna be uh, drinking it with us. And here she is, Lily herself. I'm so excited. Yeah, I bet. It's such a great honor to have your own drink here at La Cava, isn't it? It's such an honor. I love La Cava del Tequila. This is my favorite bar in the world. And that you're here with me like, makes me so happy because I'm such a big fan. Aww. I told Nate this before. Um, he, I just love videos. They make me so happy and they make me feel like I'm just at Disney when I don't get to be here. So thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> All right, so this is the Lily Margarita. Look um, at that. Thank you for all your sweet words during Festival of the Arts. It's a little bit different. We've changed it for the bar, so it's kind of got like a, a makeover. Oh. So it's something new for the for La Cava. Um, and then there's this amazing kind of presentation because I wanted something that'd be fun for like pictures and Instagram videos. Yeah, a fancy drink. Yeah, a fancy <laughs> drink. Uh, so this is, this is our fancy version of the Lily Margarita. So when you order it, you'll get this presentation. And this is like floral, so it smells really nice. Um, and then... Voila, look at that. I think we got it <laughs> that is it. Oh wow, it smells amazing. Does it smell good? Wait, I'm gonna have to. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and I got you. All right, Cheers. here we are. Cheers. 
Salud. Salud. So the one at the festival of the arts was shaken. Oh. So this one's on ice. I like so it. Bigger. And it's a bigger drink it's too. It's a bigger drink. It's like a full, proper, yeah. you know, big cocktail. This is rose petals, which I know you love. I do. I do like it. I still have the cup from Festival of the Arts. Actually, I have three cups. That's awesome. Yeah, because I bought three different drinks. Well, this one will have a, you know, a takeaway cup that has like a special thing on it really? to take away as well. So if you want to this is the in-house version and but there's a special so do you, yeah oh yeah. i didn't know that now i'm and now i'm excited yes <laughs> and i have a present for you oh do you yes what? of course i do so oh. i got you a bottle of casa Perdones. The, the one amazing. in the cocktail is blanco but this is añejo oh so it's gonna sign by me and Berta. oh look at this <laughs> I'm gonna cherish this forever. So you can enjoy it at home. Oh. Oh, uh, but I, you know, yeah. I love you and I love your channel. Thank you. That's right. We just love oh. you so much. So thank you. Thank you. you. I'm so excited. Cheers one more Cheers. time. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Salud. Salud. Look at this violent essence right here. That is so majestic looking, isn't it? It's like very majestic, and that's in the drink. Yes. Wow. So it smells. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that smells amazing. Wow, that is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen something like that. <laughs> the tequila that is actually in Lenny's drink is Casa Dragones, and it's one of my favorite tequilas, and the uh, founder and the maker of the tequila is actually here today, so we're gonna be able to try some of that tequila on its own and learn more about it. In Casa Dragones, uh, we're a small batch tequila producer and we're trying to be part of the tequila producers that are pushing the conversation of tequila production into the future. And uh, we are really trying to expand the tequila repertoire through quality and craftsmanship. Um, and we really would love to prove that agave spirits in general can compete with our other very well established categories in the world. So first of all, cheers to La Cava del Tequila. Salud. Salud. Cheers. All the support you have always given us throughout the years. Thank you very much. I'm really excited to be here all together again. So thank you. Thank you. Label. Casa Dragones Añejo. And as you know, we've been wanting to really go it is really awesome to be able to be in La Cava before it officially opens up and to be able to be one of the first people to try the lily when it's officially on the menu. But now it's open. It's open to the public. Instantly, the second the door is open, look at this. There's already a line going out the door. All the tables are full. La Cava is a very popular spot here at Epcot. Here we go. This is the best part. The reveal. Oh. The Laurel. Here we go. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, you ready? Let's do it. Beautiful. Nice. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Ah, very, oh, these are the special takeaway yeah. cups. I love it. Very fancy. How awesome was that? I love La Cava, but I feel like when you're down there, time goes by so fast. And now, like, from drinking margaritas at 10 a.m. to coming out to daylight, it kind of messes with your mind because I thought it was going to be dark out. But I love the Lily drink, and I love Lily Aldridge. She is so awesome, such a great friend, and I'm so happy that she has her own drink on the menu. Like, what an honor. You know what I mean? I think it's such a cool thing, and I love the drink. You know what I mean? And if you do uh, get it to go, you get a special little cup with it, too, a little La Cava cup. So uh, I'll definitely be keeping a couple of those. And now I think we're all going to go uh, ride soaring. We're all going to go ride soaring after having margaritas at 10 a.m. It's so strange because it's very breezy out, but the rain like never came. It never got like super stormy out and there was a lot of hype, you know what I mean, for this storm. So maybe we'll get hit a little bit later. So I'm happy I got my umbrella with me, but we're going to make our way up to Soren now. B1 is the best way to go because everything is center and you're up the highest. I love it. Oh, here we go. We are ready for takeoff. 
<laughs> I love riding sore and it always puts me in such an amazing mood. Now I think we're actually going to head out and uh, grab a little lunch and make our way around World Showcase. You know, it's kind of strange because I thought it was going to be a very rainy day and all of the forecasts said that it was going to be rainy too. We had that severe tornado watch and nothing really happened. Nothing, nothing happened. So the one day I come prepared, nothing happens. I think it's just my luck. For lunch today, we're actually heading over to Teppanito, and I love it there. It's one of my all-time favorite restaurants. I've done plenty of dining reviews here, and if you guys watch the videos, you know how much I love it. Today, it's going to be just very brief because I'm hanging out with Lily and some friends, so you know I don't want to go into a full dining review, but if you do want to see uh, like a full dining review, I'll put a link in the description because it is really amazing. And here we are, time for lunch at Teppanito. This is gonna be so much fun. I love coming to Teppanito. You guys know this is one of my all-time favorite restaurants, and I'm so excited. I can't wait to see all the cool Disney references they do. I feel like it's not always the same thing. They definitely mix it up a little bit, and I'm excited.
Very talented. <laughs> oh, that's the good stuff. <laughs> I love the noodles here. Favorite part. Oh, thank you. Look at that. And look, now we got the steak. A little steaky steak. Wow, Teppanito hit so hard. I feel so stuffed. I love, I love that restaurant. And like I said, I really didn't want to go into like too much like detail, especially when you're with company. So uh, I was just really light and showed you some of the cool uh, cooking tricks that they do and some of the food. But if you want to see a full review, I will add my video in the description below to check it out. And now I think we're going to make our way back out to Future World. Maybe Test Track, maybe Club Cool. You know, there's something at Club Cool I really want to show you because it is really interesting and I think it's really fancy. So definitely Definitely club cool. As I make my way up to Future World, I like to listen to make sure Test Track is running. Instead of opening up the app to see if it's running, I just listen to see if I can hear the cars running in. It is running, and it's so strange. Like I said, the weather is very unpredictable here. So I think we're gonna actually head to Club Cool first, and then over to Test Track. And now I like pointing with my umbrella. I feel like this is something I can use it for since it's not raining. <laughs> if you are unaware of what Test if you don't know what Club Cool is, it's basically where you get to go in and sample all the different sodas from around the world. And it's a really fun, free thing. And I kind of want to do something a little dangerous. The last time I was in Club Cool, I was talking about some of the flavors that I don't like. Like for instance, the barbecue soda, like the soda tastes like barbecue. And it's supposed to be like a smart sour plum. So I thought about mixing it with the Beverly, which is another bad soda. So we're gonna do a little Beverly and a little China and just mix them up a little bit. And I don't even know why I'm doing this. Someone said it would be a good idea, so we're gonna try it. There is no way this is gonna be anything but horrible. Like, I don't even know why I'm doing it. Someone said you should mix them like together in the comments and I was like, you know what? That sounds like a good idea, so here we go. Oh, oh. Not the fan, not, oh no. Yo, no David, no David. I feel like I should try mixing something that might be delicious now. So like we'll do the bonbon, which is a blend of tropical flavors. And then probably we'll do, oh, the watermelon from the Philippines. Do a little watermelon mix. A little bit of a mix. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. So as you can see, some of the flavors when they're mixed together is actually pretty good. But I wouldn't recommend mixing anything with the China soda. I feel like the barbecue just overpowers it. I know you can mix Beverly with other things and it actually makes it a little bit better. But once you add China into the equation, boah. Now that we've done some experiments with soda, I think it's time to head to Test Track. And I'm also interested because I never really bring an umbrella in, so I'm not too sure what I have to do with my umbrella because I can't bring it in the car with me. It's too big to go in one of those sacks, so I'm gonna figure out what I have to do with it. Looks like the wait time for Test Track is 70 minutes, and we're not gonna have to wait in line today, but earlier I know the storm really kept the crowds down, but I think since the sun has come out, everyone's coming back to Epcot, or they're coming to Epcot, because maybe people just stayed at home or in the resorts, and they didn't wanna come out, but now it's open season. Open season on Test Track. They just said inclement weather is approaching, so there's a chance that vehicle testing will be suspended. So we're kind of, uh, we're, go we're going on a hope and a prayer here. Well, it looks like we're gonna make it on. Either that or they're gonna stop it and then we'll get a lightning lane return time. But we made it. We made it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oh my lord, a truck!
I was starting to think my hat was not going to make it off that ride. Did you see that? I almost lost it. I went to go hold it because I saw it starting to slip a little bit and then whoop and I had my hand there just in time. But I would have been a little sad because I would have lost my new hat because this is one of the newer ones I got. And uh, I mean Disney's usually really good with like finding them like lost and found at Disney is expert like I've recovered at least two or three different hats one of them from the bottom of the Tower of Terror and uh, yeah I probably would have got it back if I lost it now that we got done with test track I think we're gonna head back to the Mexico pavilion and maybe do the Grand Fiesta tour you know I should have done that earlier but I do have to uh, I do have to say having margaritas and then riding Soren definitely enhances the ride itself I really really did enjoy that I feel like I should make that a tradition now but now I think we're gonna make our way uh, to the uh, Grand Fiesta tour I'm getting flashbacks already to this morning at 10 a.m. And look at the line for La Cava now. Holy moly, look at this. It wraps all the way around. A lot of people are excited to get the lily maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's always a popular spot, but this is like really, really long. It also looks like we got a little lucky. There is no wait for the three caballeros. That's pretty fun. You know what I mean? It's nice to see some rides where you don't have to wait and you can just walk on. And uh, especially the past couple weeks, it's been so busy here. Like Hollywood Studios, almost impossible. But nice to see a little walk-on attraction here at Epcot. The Grand Fiesta Tour starring the three caballeros. Look at this, complete walk-on. I don't know when they're gonna take down this maze though. Sometimes I really feel claustrophobic coming through here. Oh, luckily we don't have to. We get to just walk around it. We're gonna walk around, we're gonna walk around the shields. <laughs> Looks like we're getting front row too. Ooh, wait a second. Where's my umbrella? Remain seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. And if you have children with you, please watch. Gracias. Bienvenido. Coming in hot. We're coming in hot here. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh oh, I think I'm gonna do it again. Well, this is gonna be awkward. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 
Well, this is just getting awkward. Up, oh, oh, up, oh, up, good, 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 yeah. <laughs> Now that we got off the ride, I have to go find my umbrella. I think I left it near a trash can, so I'm gonna retrace my steps. But it's so funny, because I went to go get in the ride, and I was just like, where's my umbrella? And then I realized I left it somewhere, and I'm pretty sure I know where it is, so we're gonna go check to see if it's still there. Let's go get that umbrella. <laughs> I hope it's still there. I think it's right on the outside here, because I stopped to take a photo. Oh my lord, look at it. Look at it just say in there, look at that. <laughs> I can't believe nobody took it yet, but there it is. My umbrella is still here. Excellent. I really thought I was going to lose another umbrella there. I can't believe it was still there because I must have been in there for at least 25 minutes. And uh, look at that. I didn't lose one. I didn't lose it. And since we're over here in World Showcase and we just got done doing the Grand Fiesta tour, why not do another boat ride? Head on into Frozen Ever After. I love the boat rides. The post-it wait time for Frozen was, I think, 80 minutes when we walked in, but we're, we're going up through the lightning lane. But this queue is not too bad to wait in because at least it's all indoors. I remember like having to wait in China to ride Frozen. Like even sometimes even far as back as Africa, like the African outpost. Transitioning from queues that had social distancing to queues now, you always look at them and being like, no, that's not a long wait because you're so used to see these gigantic lines. full of water and I'm a soggy bottom boy like literally my whole entire seat is a little pool there and I was sitting in it frozen was a lot of fun but what is going on with the weather here in Florida like five hours ago there was a severe tornado watch and now look at it it is literally probably such a beautiful day out right now wow things just change so quickly and with that, I think we are done here today. I had such an amazing day today. Seriously, it's been so much fun getting here uh, right at the park opening, 
thinking I was gonna go through a huge storm, but then not going through a storm. Having breakfast margaritas, hanging out with Lily, hanging out with Lily in the La Cava, drinking her drink. Like, that is so amazing. And thank you to La Cava for inviting me out. And also thank you uh, to Lily for coming up with such a, a really wonderful drink. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.